you know, I, I, I just don't know where to start with half a loaf of Kung Fu. Yes, it's an awesome title. Do we need the full loaf? No, half is plenty here. We get a, a sort of lower rung Jackie Chan movie, one that um, isn't as renowned and would probably be forgotten if it wasn't for having the great man in a starring role. And this opens up really oddly with Chan almost doing auditions of various characters. They're all kind of wacky, over-the-top, caricatured people who aren't that funny. And that brings me to my biggest down point in this film. The jokes don't land. They don't land at all. And there is lots of them throughout the film. Um, plenty of time. There's just silly sight gags um, or pratfalls. A lot of the time we're supposed to giggle because Jackie Chan hits people with his bum. Ha <laughs> oh, ha! Wasn't funny the first time. Definitely wasn't funny the 20th. <laughs> but there's some things I really liked about this. How can we not enjoy a movie where Jackie Chan is, is bolstered to a cross with the music from Jesus Christ Superstar, please? <laughs> Or where, after getting a kicking, he sits on the ground, stuffs his face with spinach, while the Popeye tune plays and then begins to kick ass. <laughs> the story in this one is almost inconsequential. This is a guy who can't get a job, can't do anything, just kind of bumming along, sees two dueling warriors and decides to steal the identity of one who dies and becomes the, the hero whip or some nonsense like that. It's a mistaken identity movie for a little while as a mysterious bum who is a martial arts master appears every now and again to give him a manoeuvre to practice and then disappear, normally saving his life first. And we kind of watch this character as he bumbles along, tries to learn Kung Fu, uh, makes an arse of himself, until suddenly they realise that, you know what, we really need to get to a plot. Now, even if we're halfway through the movie, now it's time to just get this shoehorned in there. So now, halfway through the shenanigans that have been going on, we get Jackie Chan uh, somehow working with a family that are trying to transport precious jewels from one area to another through gang territory where they're going to be attacked multiple times. No questions? Just leave your cargo and you won't be hurt. There is some awesome fight sequences here. One of the saving graces of this movie are the wonderful action set pieces. Now there is a particularly great one at the end, elongated, exhaustive, so kinetic and tiring. <sighs> Felt like a workout just watching it. <laughs> uh, which is good because I wasn't in the mood to do any kind of workout whatsoever. Um, but the Jackie Chan one was, uh, it's, it's a weird movie. Um, comically, it doesn't land at all. Uh, the jokes are unfunny. The plot is very slight at the best of times. It's kind of shoehorned in there at the end to give us something to kind of root for. A good guy, some bad guys, an ultimate quest for vengeance a little bit uh, near the end of it. A little bit of a love interest as well, which was it wasn't too as egregious as I thought it was going to be. Um, but again, the star of this one is the action, which is exemplary. <laughs> Uh, you just need to make it through the opening start of Jackie doing various guises and performances which is it's like nails in a chalkboard to be honest not the most exciting thing I've, I've ever seen but this is an ultimately a quick fairly good movie people shout Wu-Tang a lot a guy gets punched in the penis oh, I an explosion it has all the kind of things you would want to see in a crazy kung fu movie. The title lets you know, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu. Great fight choreography, piss poor gags. 
<laughs> I'd love to know what you think of this movie. I uh, thought it was fine. Nothing more than fine. Uh, if you're a die-hard Jackie Chan fan, pick it up. If you only like some of his movies, give it a miss. It will not be for you. I need to know your opinion of this one. Let me know in the comment box below. Hey, if you loved it more than me, we won't fall out. We'll just have an adult conversation about why you liked it. Um, and maybe you can twist my opinion a little bit. Of course, hit that like button if you like Jackie Chan, action movies, any kind of movies, want to help the channel. Just all those reasons, hit the like button. And if you want to go to the description box down below this video, there is a link to the Patreon or the membership program where you can join um, help me financially support the channel for as little as 99p a month. That's all. That's all it takes. That would be amazing. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time on Man V Film.